You know, I kind of think of these AI systems as hungry, hungry hippos. They seemingly soak up all the data and compute that we throw at them. They've already digested all the tokens on the public internet, and it seems we can't build data centers fast enough. What do you think the real limits are, and how do we get ahead of them before they start throttling AI progress? So there's a real limit in energy.、I'll、give you an example. There's one calculation, and I testified on this this week in Congress, that we need another 90 gigawatts of power in America. My answer, by the way, is think Canada, right? Nice people, full of hydroelectric power, but that's apparently not the political mood right now. Sorry. So 90 gigawatts is 90 nuclear power plants in America. Not happening. We're building zero, right? How are we going to get all that power? This is a major, major national issue.、Um, you can use the Arab world, which is bu- busy building five to ten gigawatts of data centers. India is considering a ten gigawatt data center. To understand how big gigawatts are, is think cities per data center. That's how much power these things need. And the people look at it and they say, well, there's lots of algorithmic improvements. And you will need less power. There's an old rule. I'm old enough to remember, right? Grove giveth, Gates taketh away. Okay, <laughs> the hardware just gets faster and faster. The physicists are amazing, just incredible what they've been able to do. And us software people, we just use it and use it and use it.